right um this is just a quick video i i really didn't want to make this because i had addressed this subject on my channel already and i i didn't want to keep something so negative just sitting on my channel so i got rid of the video but i've had a lot of people asking me about this recently and dotted here and there so i'm gonna have to just make a video just about this and then leave it up josh is here because I don't want people coming to me later and saying, oh, he probably had no idea. He probably was oblivious to everything. Because that's not the case. You know, yeah. I tell him everything. Um, he knows everything. And we're either in a situation together or we're not. Um, and then let me also preface this by saying, I know that over the years I've done stuff that's not exactly the best and I'm always trying to grow and change and better myself as a person sometimes I slip up and do the wrong thing still I'm only human um, but my intent is never to hurt anybody it's usually what I'm just thinking about myself and trying to protect myself that I do things that might not seem good to everybody else but moving on um, I am being asked because of my last video mostly where is my baby? I thought you had a baby. What happened to your baby? And I had, like I said, I had already explained this. That was a situation that wasn't what it seemed. Um, some of you, I don't talk about it anymore, but some of you might or might not know that I have stalkers and spies and hate sites and bullies that have been the bane of my existence since 2009 but they really took off in about 2011 12 ish and no matter where I've gone or what I've done they have stalked me hounded me um, spied on me bullied me and just in general just made my life a living hell and they've caused so much depression they've changed me as a person it's it's been a really bad situation and what makes it worse is that his family has gone to them and joined in with them and started lying about us and all kinds of stuff. And it's just been a big mess, but it has completely taken away who I am as a person to be bullied for so long and to know that my every move and every action or thought or picture has been dissected, looked at, lied about, a morsel of truth twisted and turned into a big old lie and... A huge chunk of my life since this started has been about defending myself and proving them wrong and blah 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 and all that stuff and when we had the falling out with his family and we found out that his family had gone to them and you know continued on with the lies and the bullshit we were like nah you know and we wanted to do something uh, we were in the, I think we were in the process of moving at that point. We were moving mm -hmm. and we were trying to do stuff ourselves and we wanted to get the focus off of what we were doing. No, we, that's when we started rescuing animals, I think. And one of the big lies about me out mm -hmm. there, yeah, it's, it's, it's been so long, it's hard to remember everything that they pick on, but, um, ugh, I fucked up my bangs, look at that. But anyway, um, <laughs> One of the big things um, that they lie about me is saying that I kill animals. And I know where this lie has come from. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and put it out there. When I was like 13 years old, I'm 45 years old right now. When I was 13 years old, I had a really bad childhood. I was abused. I was homeless. I was in runaway shelters. I mean, it was really, really, really bad. And I was a completely different person. I tried to kill myself at 14. I was in ICU for four days. Um, I overdosed on pills, fucked up my heart. Um, I was, I, I would break into places. I mean, I was, I was a troubled child. Um, and back then, um, to get my anger and frustration out, I mean, not only did I start cutting myself, um, got into fights, everything, I did, uh, unalive um hamsters mice and rats um and uh frogs uh that were outside not cats not dogs nothing like that it was um rodents um 
and I'm not proud of it. it. It's not something that I like to talk about. I don't talk about it. The only time it had even come out was when I was reading the story of my life. I, I was writing a book. Who is this? Is this Raziel? Okay. What are you doing? Or is this Amara? I can't tell. That's Raziel. <laughs> um, oh boy. He's going to come and try to be lovey now. Raziel. Hey, what you doing? Mommy's making a video. You can't be over here. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a chapter in my life that I, I don't like talking about. I don't like acknowledging or being reminded of because I'm not that person anymore. I haven't been that person since I was a troubled teenager. People are allowed to grow and allowed to change and allowed to make mistakes. And who I was then is not who I am now. And I only mentioned it at the time because this is when I first got on YouTube and I had written a book about my life and I was reading it to people because I thought it was helping people because the comments I was getting back then were, you know, oh, your story has helped me so much, you know, and it's made me not want to kill myself and things like that. And, um, I really liked thinking that I could help somebody with my story in my life. So I, I didn't censor it. I, I talked about everything, but that little portion of my life was used against me from then on. And, um, I'm labeled as an animal killer and that's, that is not the case. I mean, look at this boy. Does he look like he is abused in any way? I mean, I love animals. I don't really like dogs too much, but I love cats so much. And Josh and I, when we're in South Carolina, we started rescuing cats, um, some dogs, but mostly cats. And it was whatever cat we saw online that was going to be, um, thrown out on the street or taken to the pound. We took them in, we fed them, fattened them up, showed them love, got them uh, vaccinated, spayed, neutered, and then we rehomed them for free. The only thing we ever asked of people was if they wanted to give a donation of like cat food or litter because any money we got went straight back into the animals. And you know, because I always wanted a baby, couldn't have one, the animals became like my babies and it was something for me to focus on. So that's what we did. And we went through multitudes of cats. We rescued over 15, 20, 30 cats in like what, six months to a year. I mean, we did really good. And I'm in contact with most of the people that, um, we, we've rehomed the babies to, and they've given me updates and everything. One girl gives me updates every Christmas of one of the cats that she has of ours. And, um, but because the animals come and go, and sometimes we don't know if we're going to keep one or not or, or let it go on so we can rescue more, um, apparently that means I'm killing them all. So, you know, these rumors and lies about me have crept into my life in a very, very fucked up way. And it has really changed things for me. And so at the time we were trying to do that, we were, we were taking in quite a bit, I wanted to take the focus off of the animals and, um, it was around April fools and I was going to post like an April fools, um, uh, pregnancy test and I had it scheduled, but it, I posted the picture too early and they jumped all over there. Oh my God, is she pregnant? And then they instantly did, they did exactly what I thought they'd do. And that's all they were talking about was if I was pregnant or not. So Josh and I talked about it and we're like, we're just going to let this go. We're just going to let them think that I'm pregnant. And as they got more and more into it we fed into that more and I would do little things like, um, you know, based on when they thought I was due and stuff. Um, I had like, uh, our neighbor's baby. <laughs> they thought that it was like a recording that they could see in my glasses, but that wasn't the case at all. I had the neighbor's baby there. Um, we'd have baby sounds I'd babysit, things like that. And that was, that was pretty hilarious. Um, to us, it was hilarious at the time because mm -hmm. it was like when I moved to America from New Zealand, um, they thought I was still in New Zealand and I made it look like Josh and I had broken up and I stayed there with Logan and they even so said, I saw, yeah, I, I, I saw her and Logan and I'm sitting right next to Josh. Like what the fuck? Mm -hmm. Um, so they're, they're willing to jump on anything they can as long as it makes me look like a horrible person. And, um, at the time I was watching, you know, and, and feeding along into what they were doing. And I didn't think about other people and what my other subscribers might think knowing my journey and, my trials to have a kid. I, I honestly didn't think about anybody, but me, him and them at the time. And I apologized for that. And I know that was a really shady, probably one of the shittiest things I've ever done. I just didn't think anybody 
cared enough at the time. It, it didn't stop me from wanting to get back at them and distract them from, you know, what we were doing that was really good. And, um, what you doing? This boy loves me so much. Charles. <laughs> Charles. Um, we have five cats now. None of these are rescues. These are all our babies. These are all staying. My girl and Mara, when we moved here, she got pregnant. And um, we kept three of her babies, and we have Lucifer. So she is spayed now. Lucifer's neutered. They're all neutered. None of them have their balls. So no more cats. We're not rescuing over here. We, we just can't afford it. Um, but yeah, these are Mara's babies. And they're about seven months old now. But... This one here, he's decided that he loves me so much. He's never away from me. He, he doesn't ever. So he doesn't leave me alone. <laughs> and Charles is a little naughty little shit. He's he's quirky. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm getting off topic. But to clear this up, we do not have a baby. I was never pregnant. Well, I'm sure I've been pregnant because it turns out there's nothing wrong with me. But the baby, everybody thinks... I had was not a baby uh, what well, was it my baby I was not pregnant I was trying to get back slash distract the hate sites so that we could focus on our rescue without them calling the cops on us saying that we were um, you know abusing animals or whatnot because we were way over the limit um, we had taken in two cats that were supposed to be spayed and we were lied to they were not spayed we ended up with four litters um, between the two cats before we were able to get them to a vet because this is when um, COVID first happened They weren't taking anybody new and we had two boys that were not cut at the time and We had no place to separate them and we tried to rehome the boys rehome the girls get them out before anything happened That didn't happen. Um, they got pregnant got pregnant again. So I think the most we had at one time was like 23 25 cats or something and it was it was so much it was so much work um, but we finally, we, we, we did get to rehome all of them. Um, and that, that was just a really crap thing to do to somebody. Oh yeah, no, there's me. No, there weren't. Um, but we were, mostly we were just trying to protect ourselves and get them talking about something else and didn't really think about how other people would see it or perceive it. And it was a really selfish and wrong thing to do and I do apologize um I haven't gone to the sites and I don't even know when the last time was I looked at them I know they're probably still watching but I haven't had anybody aside from the little snide comments here and there on my YouTube I really haven't had any bullying for a while so I'm just Woo! Charles <laughs> Charles knocked over my camera um sorry I'm just trying to live my life and focus on my health and I mean we've got enough problems uh, right now at the moment with our living situation and everything else going on. I'm just going to hold this. I'll put it on Josh. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that doesn't really work out as good. But um, yeah, I'm just trying to focus on our living situation and getting jobs and trying to get back on our feet um, because life sucks really bad right now. And, um, it's like, I'm struggling as it is not to be suicidal every day to start with. You know, if I had a baby, that would, that would be my reason for not wanting to kill myself. Um, but I don't. So that's why everybody is like, no offense to Josh or anything. Um, but yeah, like it just, I don't know. Hopefully this answers it. This is not, this is not good. This is not working for me. But anyway, so if, if we really had a baby, I wouldn't be feeling, you know, like that. I wouldn't want to abandon our child and stuff. But, um, yeah, I just, I didn't know that many people thought that I had a baby, I guess, and that it would keep coming back up and people asking, well, what happened? What happened? Because I did make the explanation video where I, I talked about everything, any questions anybody had, things that I had, um, hidden or lied about, you know, to protect myself over the years, things like that. And it was like an hour long video explaining everything. And I just kind of thought everybody had seen it before I removed it, but I guess they didn't. So 
this is the video that's going to have to stay up, I guess, and explain that because that's the question that people really want to know. But um, again, I, I don't look at the site. I, I'm not doing anything for them or because of them em anymore. I haven't. Um, I don't even have the energy to make up shit to fuck with them anymore. I just, there's just too much going on with us right now for me to even try to entertain trolling the trolls, I guess. Um, but right now my focus is like my health and getting us back on our feet because I have a hard time holding a job and keep a job because I'm in so much pain when I'm on my period. I can't, I can't even walk, um, or work or function much less, you know, like log into work and keep a job. I, I can't. So that's hurting us a lot because the jobs I have gotten, I've ended up losing because they're not, nobody's going to give me a week off every month, you know, um, to recuperate. So it's really hard. That's why I wanted to focus on my health first. And, um, I've got some answers, but not all the answers. Like I said, but I'm not going to go into that right now. Bottom line is, um, it, it was both of us. It wasn't just me. We, we both thought it was a good idea at the time. And when we saw their, them getting all wrapped up in it and their thoughts and whatever we we had quite a few laughs about you know the fact how easy it is to sway them on what they focus on you know it's you just have to put a little bit of something out there and they'll latch on to it and that's what they get focused on and we've done that a couple of times since we've been together we've just kind of like thrown something out here and there just to kind of distract them and get them off my back on about something else and um it sucks that that's what my life has come down to that I've had to do that, but that it is what it is, you know? And I, when I realized when it fully hit me, like I just faked having a baby to, to mess with a hate site. Um, that, that hit me that I had reached a new low and things needed to change. And that's when I decided like, I'm just going to pretend that they don't exist. And for the most part, I haven't acknowledged or talked about or changed up anything. Um, I'm, I'm doing my best not to let it affect me anymore because I know aside from, you know, a couple of things that I've done, um, I'm not a bad person that deserves to be bullied and stalked like that. Um, I mean, I never outwardly set out to hurt anybody and it's just bullshit that I've been targeted the way that I have for so long when I know that there's so many worse people out there, it's just not fair. I don't even do anything, you know, but there's no stopping it. They're never going to stop. So either I could feel like this the rest of my life or I could just move on and pretend they don't exist. And so that's what I'm doing. Um, like I said, my own life's got enough problems and issues. I don't really need to give them more attention. So I haven't. And we apologize again for misleading the ones that actually cared um, we, we weren't thinking like at all. We didn't think that it would big affect, picture. huh? <clears throat> yeah. Big picture. Yeah. We, we didn't think that anybody would even care or notice that that mattered or not that mattered, but that it would register with anybody. Anybody would actually check back or, or remember me, Hey, you know, cause it was such a small chunk of time that I pretended to have a baby and, um, and it worked out like he came up with the name and everything because he actually went to work and um, he had to leave work early because uh, our power went out and he thought I killed myself and he didn't want to tell his bosses that and he told them that our daughter was sick. It just popped in his head and they're like, oh, I didn't know you had a daughter. And he's like, oh, yeah. And so he came up with the name and everything and a backstory. So he had his own part that he had to clear up. Um, with people and we just kind of use that name and use that situation and mm, we we spend so much time alone it, we don't have any like friends it's just us and we're so separated from the rest of the world we don't go out we don't go to the movies we don't go out to eat we don't we, we sit inside and we have for years so a lot of the time it's hard for us to think outside of our reality and think about other people in that way. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's, 
it's just been us for so long. It is, it's just really, really hard sometimes to remember that other people are out there and they might care or be invested or I don't know how to explain it. Um, but you know, it, this is our reality, you know, this, I don't even make videos for the most part anymore. So even that's not, not something to bring me out of my shell like it used to. Um, so I don't know. I don't really know what else to say. Just that, um, it was a huge mistake that we made for the wrong reasons. Um, well, the reasons behind it were good, but the thought behind it wasn't good. And, um, you know, we do apologize for any misunderstanding and investment, emotional investment anybody might have had into thinking that we finally had a kid. Um, but know that my state of mind would not be the same if I did have a baby. Um, my self-destructive tendencies and all that, I wouldn't do that around a child. You know, I, I made a lot of mistakes with my son and I would be very conscious of that and make sure I wouldn't do anything like that if I ever had another baby. So hopefully this clears it up and, um, hopefully you guys can forgive us. And if not, I understand when I made the original video, a lot of people were really pissed off at me and that's another reason I didn't want to leave it up. So this kind of sucks to have to do it again, but I, I deserve it. Um, so there it is. And, um, anything else you guys want to know, just ask and we'll do our best to answer. Do you have anything to say? Oh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Josh hasn't slept in like two days, so he's, he's always tired. But yeah, um, well, I guess if you have anything, any thoughts, you can leave your thoughts below. Otherwise, I will see you guys around. Um, very, very scared to put this up, but I will. I will. But I will see you guys around. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Mm -hmm.